high pressure beginning to be felt across our area. So that helped to reduce the coverage of rain today and we'll do some uh, more reduction in the coverage of rain for tomorrow. Forecast and focus keeps the sky on a clearer mode for the night. I wouldn't say 100% clear for everybody, especially if you happen to come upon some fog that forms in our western areas and near the coast. The south winds will continue. The heat will build once again with the upper high that's across the Gulf having a little bit of a shift in our direction. So that will influence that downward trend in the rain coverage. Forecast and focus showing a field of scattered clouds, especially near the state line and around the Suwannee River, but not much if any rain is likely to fall from that. Friday's rain activity will be prompted by a front that runs into this warm and humid air mass, and that can maybe ring out a few more organized thunderstorms for the tri-state area and then scattered activity into your late Friday night and portions of Saturday. We'll try to get that shield of rain farther to the south into your Saturday afternoon, so I do think we can see maybe somewhat of a split rain pattern drier north of I-10, maybe a few scattered showers south on Saturday. With any of those thunderstorms in the tri-state uh, by later in the afternoon tomorrow, I can kick up the wind gust uh, by some extent and even producing some hail. So there are some severe weather concerns that we will continue to monitor, not looking widespread or high impact, but a few of those thunderstorms can do more than just cause some rain and lightning and thunder on Friday afternoon and evening. Saturday, the rain chances diminish shift south. Sunday on Mother's Day, we'll have a sunnier trend with slightly drier air, but the temperatures will still be pretty much on the warm side with upper 80s. Morning lows may drop just a bit into the lower and mid 60s.